We're here with William Hartland Penfield Beignet the third, or is it the second, third? Pen, pen's good. Pen's good? Yeah. So, uh, Penfield, how is the, uh... Pen, pen's fine. Pen, yeah. okay. What do you like about the tennis team of Andy? Uh, I like that they are boys. And, uh, I like my tennis team because we make a shower after practice. We're all sweaty. And we clean each other. It's nice. So, you're stranded on a lifeboat. And you can only save one person or one thing. You got Ian, your coach. You got your, te your team captain, Ryan Littman. Or a nice, sweet pack of sour skittles. Well, unfortunately, I guess Ian and Ryan are dying, and I'm, I'm, I guess I'm saving the Skittles. Nice. Ian doesn't really do anything for me. Ryan, I mean, he's like a paraplegic, and I mean, I guess a packet of Skittles, that's got to be the most useful thing, right? So, Jeff, how are you doing today? Good, Ted. Thank you. You look really good, uh, as always, I might add. Um, you have the reputation for being the best dressed guy on the team. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I mean, looking good really, it really doesn't take a day off. So I like to uh, dress from head to foot and, you know, the classiest of apparels. Do you find that when you look good, you also play good? I think that that mantra is definitely accurate for me. I think, um, I think the saying is 50% of the battle is looking good. I would say it's more around 90, 95. So I, I would say, yeah. What do you like about the guys in the tennis team? Uh, they're very funny and spontaneous. They like to uh, make a good time at a random time. <laughs> so the slogan of Texas is everything's bigger in Texas, That's right? Yes. Uh, what happened with you? Um, yeah, I mean, I get that a lot, but you know, what I lack for in size, I make up for in stature, and of course, my great clothing. So Ryan, this has been the coldest winter in Nashville's history. What have you done to cope with the frigid temperatures? Penn, how has the transition been from uh, Canada, Can Canada, Canada? How how's it been? It's been good, Jeff. It's uh, I've actually moved from a bigger city to a smaller city, so mm. been downsizing a little. Okay. Cool. You guys have had a really successful season in doubles so far. How much of your success do you attribute to the coaching staff? <laughs> what? So I hear you bros are from Cali. Yeah, yes. um, I'm from Sacramento. I'm from Monterey. Oh, that's pretty chill. Would you say that you uh, shred the gnar over there in Cali? Actually, contrary to popular belief, we I don't surf. I actually have never been surfing. Um, I saw that Canada did well in the Winter Olympics. We did actually, yeah. We won the uh, gold medal in men's and women's hockey. That's two Olympics in a row. To like compare that to tennis, that's basically like holding serve. I mean, that, that's the only, I mean, that's the only sport that's in Canada is hockey, right? Um, another question I had is, how is it living with 100,000 people in the whole country? So Chris, uh, it's Friday night. What's Chris and you doing? What, what do you like to do on Friday night? Push. Take the tower. Take, 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 take. I heard, I heard you like to go, go. bowling sometimes. Go, 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 go. He doesn't have flash. Do you like bowling? Go. You hang out. You hang out bowl. with people that bowl. Come on. So Ryan, Schmidt, do some of your on-court tendencies tend to show themselves off the court? None that I've noticed. I don't get this. We're here with uh, AJ Austin. What up, baby? AJ, you've had a uh, fabulous season. Would you say that your strong work, work ethic has been a contributing factor to that success? Work ethic? Nah, I don't work hard. Everything I got is God given. <laughs> 